concept artists create designs for every single planet, spaceship, creature, weapon, and environment. George reviews these designs and selects the ones that will appear in the movie. What do you want me to do? You want me to pull out the ones that I like? Or do you want me to... Yeah, Eric right. Timmons and Ryan Church are in charge of the whole group of artists who brought the planet of Mustafar off the page. What you see on the screen begins with them. So there's a whole history. This has been in George's mind for a long time, this idea of the lava planet. And um, Ralph McQuarrie did sketches of the Mustafar look and many artists um, have worked on it. Art, um, Doug Chang had done sketches and ideas, uh, Mark Cabana. So there's been brainstorming in the past. That's interesting too. These are good views. And again, we, we can sort of you know, build a 360 degree and mm -hmm. literally take those and try to string them together and see if you can figure out how they would fit together. Okay. Uh, George has always been a really great master weaver. He can take 50 different threads and make them together into one movie, but um, we want to provide him with 10,000, not 50. Yeah. And basically we were here to provide George with variations on a theme, putting them out on boards, and then getting his feedback for honing uh, the look in. Now we hit your lava world. I mean, obviously that's another thing, but these are kind of in that Mufasta realm, mm -hmm. just kind of looking for... Yeah, that's starting to look good. Yeah. It's hard to get one person to do two different planets because it all comes out looking the same. That's always been a problem we've had of trying to get the variety of design that we need. I'm not quite sure about that. You have disappointments when your thing doesn't get picked or whatever, but there's always, there's always a really good reason for your, your, your image not being picked. And it could be something as basic as, this is great, you know, George, George says this all the time, this is great, not for my movie, but this is great, you know. Uh, it just doesn't fit into the story that we're telling. But I mean, that's what we gotta be careful of. I mean, we gotta make sure that it's very distinctive so that we can, you know, you instantly sort of look, and I say, you have to be able to look in a couple of seconds and say, okay, I know where I am, I know what that is. And we would go through various designs. I mean, this would go over a period of months uh, while I was writing the script. So I would rewrite the script as I was beginning to see the environment and what I had to work with to design the sequence. There you go. A first draft. Official first draft. Of course, there's a lot of cheating in there. A lot of they fight. For 20 minutes, and it's just says they fight. I'm bringing in a guest director. Can you say, or is it? Well, we'll see. You'll see next week, because he'll be here next week. Uh, Steven Spielberg. Uh, was helping me with the previs, and I was always throwing all of the weight of the problems onto Stephen by saying, well, the director wants this, and the director wants that. And, um, uh, you know, whenever there was something that was going to cause trouble for somebody, I just blame it on Stephen, because if I said I wanted this, and they'd start to argue about it, but I'd just say Steve wants this, and then they wouldn't uh, moan and groan quite as much. Our director's come up with a really good idea, which I think we'll probably use. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this. But what he wants to do, probably here is one of the best places, if they get down to the end and it breaks off so that it goes and it lands in a river of lava, and they're on it. But he wanted to do something, you know, sort of up in here somewhere where, you know, one of those big spurts go up and they jump under a ledge and the whole thing sort of rains next to them. You know, so you'd shoot them and then you had this whole screen of yeah. embers and stuff flying down and bouncing off and catching on fire. That's a nice, nice little route. Yeah. That's we, why I hired him. This one, right? For God's <laughs> sake, the guy's good. So I was thinking that the lava geyser would happen here and then Obi-Wan comes down, Anakin gives chase. We were trying to think of something that would cause the arm to break. But if it, so we can have some boards suggest the lava is melting through. Maybe the lava is breaking the cables, or yeah, it could be yeah, a combination. All right, yeah, no, that's, that'll work. OK, great. So all this stuff will be going back down to Ben, and the next time you see it, it'll be, uh, it'll be cut and in color. OK, great. Yeah. Episode three! <laughs>